hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing today i hope you guys are doing well so today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video from ben shapiro and it's titled and it's titled everyone in hollywood knew about diddy's white parties you guys i'm excited for this and without much ado let's see what ben shapiro has for us in this video this sean puffy diddy p diddy combs scandal is pretty astonishing because here is my theory. Everyone in Hollywood knew about all of it. This is my going theory. Everyone in Hollywood knew about all of it. And not only did they know, they know about all of it, they all participated in it. I don't know what else to take away from many of the pictures of these so-called white parties. According to the UK Daily Mail, new video has surfaced of Sean Diddy Combs telling guests at one of his legendary white parties in the Hamptons, it was time for the kids to go home and the real partying to begin. In footage obtained exclusively by the Daily Mail, Diddy, 54, stands champagne glass in hand like a dictator on his balcony. He says, we fed you all, we gave you drinks, and now it's time to enjoy life. This is a celebration of life. This is the real white party. Wow. Kids have an hour left, then this thing turns into something that when you get older, this is something you're all going to want to come to. So let's just start to get our groove on, put the kids away, it's all good. All right, DJ, let's hit it. Let's do it. Hmm. And the, the pictures of the people who showed up to this thing are just amazing. Wow. I mean, you're taught he was dating at one point Jennifer Lopez from like 99 to 2001. But one picture alone at one white party was Kimberly Simmons, Russell Simmons, Damon Dash, Aaliyah, Diddy, Jennifer Lopez, Lisa Zane, Billy Zane, Victor Matthews, Matthew Broderick, Sarah Jessica Parker, Andre Harrell and Veronica Webb. That was the year 2000. There are pictures of Leonardo DiCaprio at one of Diddy's parties. There are pictures wow. of pretty much everybody. Mm -hmm. Images obtained exclusively by DailyMail.com show a glittering guest list, a who's who of movie and music industry fame, all of whom have remained conspicuously silent since the music mogul's arrest in New York earlier this week. In pictures shot at Diddy's penultimate party in 2008, scantily clad, half-naked girls cavort in the swimming pool. A tangle of limbs, they pour champagne into the open mouth of a male guest. These are um, for sure prostitutes. Okay, that, that, that is what is happening there. Wow. And, of course, not a shock, many of the female guests, according to the Daily Mail, did virtually nothing to hide their modesty. Again, not a shock at all. Mm. Photos of the gatherings are like a time capsule of the late 90s. Howard Stern, Kelly Osbourne, Aretha Franklin, Leonardo DiCaprio, Martha Stewart, Jay-Z and Beyonce, Mariah Carey and husband Nick Cannon. Wow. Tommy Lee and Pamela Anderson. A young, Kim, a young Kim Kardashian. Who hasn't gone I mean, to the party? Pretty amazing stuff. And apparently everybody knew about this. Yeah. Like th th there were levels of tears. According to former music industry insider Tom Swoop, who has recounted his own memories of surviving into these white parties on his YouTube channel, the parties were separated into tiers of access. There was general admission, then a series of tiers ending with entrance to the inner sanctum where the real partying went on. This allegedly included sexually humiliating male and female guests on the promise of record deals or money. Swoop and others have spoken about the drugs that were present, ecstasy, cocaine, being snorted off uh, the bodies of the so-called guests. Of course. Speaking to Oprah in 2006, Diddy said that the entire idea of the white party was to, quote, strip away everyone's image and put us all in the same color and on the same level. Apparently, Swoop alleges that Diddy told one young artist to perform a sex act on his bodyguard in return for $100,000 and a record deal before claiming it was a joke when the young man was on the cusp of submitting. Which, by the way, shows you how things have worked in Hollywood for literally ever. That people use the impression of power and access in order to get people to do truly awful things with one another. Mm -hmm. And celebrities fall right into it. Because when you're a celebrity, they let you do what they want, as a famous man once said. This, by the way, presumably included then minors. Here is Khloe Kardashian back in the day suggesting that Justin Bieber was naked at parties. So who was with you this weekend? A bunch of my friends. Diddy, Quincy, Justin Bieber. <laughs> so far, French so good. Montana. I got on a plane at 5.30 a.m. Well, this party, I think half the people there were butt naked. You would have loved it. Um, have you met Chloe's new, like, crew of friends? No. Well, kind of. <laughs> you did? Yeah. Stop. Stop talking. You met Chloe's new crew of friends. And all I said was, yes. Stop and then talking. I stopped. All I said was, yes. Wow. And that is a scene from 2014. 
And uh, Justin Bieber would have been 20 at the time. So, sounds amazing. Wow, you guys, this sounds really, really amazing. And the things that the celebrities indulge in is very, very mind-boggling. This whole DD controversy is going to drag people to the mud because by the time they start calling everyone that has been involved in these white parties, I don't think anyone in Hollywood will be left. But let me know what you guys think about this because Ben Shapiro has called out a lot of names and I keep wondering who hasn't been to that party, whose name will be called next. This is very, very mind boggling. But leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and let's wrap this video up, you guys. There's all sorts of video that's now emerging of Diddy getting very awkward with Justin Bieber. That, of course, not a shock because he was preying on young men, was, was Diddy. So here is, a, here is a very awkward clip of a very young Justin Bieber. I mean, he's clearly a teenager in, the, in, this, in this video. How old is Bieber in this, this video? He looks like maybe 15, 16 at most. Yeah, I think he's 15 here. And, uh, and, he, and Diddy recaps Justin's 48 hours with Diddy. And uh, Justin Bieber just kind of looks dead behind the eyes here, truly. Justin, he's in, you ever seen the movie 48 Hours? Right now, he's having 48 hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, like, like the, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we, we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. Um, you know, I, I, I have been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed the Usher. He signed the Usher. I, I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album. I did yes. Usher's first album. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, <laughs> and yeah, and, um, and, and yeah, and, and we gonna go full, buck full crazy. Going crazy. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, Justin Bieber looks awful here as uh, probably he was abused. I mean, honestly, like it would be hard to imagine Justin Bieber was not abused by Diddy given the quality of these tapes. Here's a video that people are suggesting shows Diddy checking Bieber for a wire upon seeing him for the first time in a while. He's like patting him down awkwardly here for those who can't see. Like touching his chest. It's super weird. Like tapping him all over to make sure that he's not wearing a wire. What's it, man? I know that uh, when I see friends, I do not actually like pat them down. It's a, it's a very weird thing that's happening right there. And uh, here is video of Diddy calling out Bieber for not calling him or hanging out. And again, Justin Bieber looking like he wants to die. Don't act different, huh? You, you, ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't. I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you, you never really got my number, so. Right. Okay. My number. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, yeah. You. Wow. Okay, you don't have my number. I mean, ooh, 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 ooh. not good at all. Apparently, a source told People Magazine Justin is aware of Diddy's arrest and all the allegations. It's not anything he wants to focus on, though. He has been in a happy bubble since his baby was born. He just wants to focus on being a great dad and a great husband. Now, again, the number of people who are in Diddy's orbit, enormous. And I don't know how many times we have to see this scandal over and over and over before you realize that this is just the way things go in Hollywood. This sort of debauchery is normalized in Hollywood. Yeah. It's treated as perfectly normal. And then every so often, somebody is caught in a criminal sting like this and ends up in the headlines. And it turns out everybody knew the whole time. Which speaks to what is going, and this has been true since like the 1920s in Fatty Arbuckle. You put a bunch of hormonal, good-looking people in the same area, there will be some people yeah. who are incredibly abusive. But free people of their morality and give them insane levels of power and wealth. And it turns yeah. out they do awful things with those things. The story here, once again, as it was with Jeffrey Epstein, the story about Jeffrey Epstein wasn't really about Jeffrey Epstein. It was about who's in the little black book. Yeah, the story about Diddy here is not just about Diddy being abusive and awful. The story is who knew when and what did they do about it? I, mean, I don't know how many of you, I don't know when it became a de rigueur for powerful people in our society to simply go to random drug and sex parties. As though this is the late Roman Empire. But that's effectively what we have here. And again, it's not restricted to Hollywood. 
We now know that the head of like the New York City Health Commission was going to sex and drug parties in the middle of the pandemic in violation of COVID protocols that he himself had written. This is what happens when you have a, a privileged class, and it is. Okay, when it comes to Hollywood, I'm not saying people in Hollywood don't work hard. I am saying that when it comes to who is recognized for artistic merit, there's a lot more luck to that than there is to, say, other business areas in the United States. If you want to become rich by selling widgets, you actually have to make a good widget. If you want to become very rich by making music, you don't necessarily have to make good music. A lot of it's marketing. A lot of it is luck. Whatever the situation, a huge number of these people have been completely, fame disconnects them from reality. Fame eats them alive. Notoriety, the fact that people look at them in a different way, changes their own view of themselves and makes them feel justified in using other people. I used to live in Hollywood. I know enough actors. I know enough executives. I've never been to any one of these parties, nor would I ever go to any one of these parties. But do I find any of this sort of news particularly shocking? Why would I? What is the actual church going rate at the white parties for Diddy? What do you think is the I gave to my local community church rate at these parties? How many of these people are solid family members? And how many of them started off that way and then were sucked into a life of depravity by the amount of fame and hedonism that is possible? Human beings have an inherent drive toward sin. Human beings have an inherent drive toward pleasure. And when given enormous amounts of power and zero accountability, they'll either use it in all the worst ways or participate in it and look the other way while others do. We shouldn't be shocked by this. We should just understand that the values promulgated by these folks, not to get political, but I guarantee you that the voting record of these white parties would be about... 95% for Kamala Harris. That's all I will say here. Because it turns out that politics is downstream of values. And a value system that basically treats sex as a throwaway and relationships as meaningless and family as a secondary concern and church as something for dunderheads and morons, that value system has some downstream effects. In politics, it leads to to dire downstream effects. And in, in terms of personal lives, it certainly leads to some pretty significantly ugly downstream effects. You guys, that was such an interesting one from Ben Shapiro. And Ben Shapiro has said nothing. And Ben Shapiro has said nothing but the truth. Justin Bieber really, really was terrified of Didi. He was so young and he had to endure all of this. I'm sure he got so traumatized and ended up suppressing everything with drugs but let me know what you guys think this whole did it okay and i keep wondering what kind of man this did it is what goes on in his head and what baffles me most is that a lot of celebrities actually attended this party they knew what was going on behind closed door but nobody said anything this is insane this is my boggling and let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys